What is the use action state hook and how does it work? React 19 came with two notable new features called server components and server actions. From that version onwards, server components became the default in frameworks like Next.js that readily support them. Server actions, on the other hand, are functions that run on the server to allow form handling right on the server without the need for API endpoints. A server action looks like this. This server action extracts a name field from a form and returns a string greeting that name. To simplify state management for server actions and remove the need for client-side JavaScript for simple forms, the React team introduced the use action state hook in version 19. Let's take a closer look at this hook and see how it works. The React documentation describes the use action state hook as a hook that allows you to update state based on the result of a form action. But this doesn't mean that you can only use the use action state hook with forms. You can also use it to manage button clicks and other events as long as you have an action in place. And keep in mind that since use action state is a hook, you cannot use it inside a server component. Here is the basic syntax of the use action state hook. State is the current state the action returns. Action is the function that triggers the server action. Is pending is a boolean that indicates whether the action is currently running or not. The action function parameter is the server action itself. Initial state is the parameter that represents the starting point for the state before the action runs. Permalink is an optional string that contains the unique page URL the form modifies. To use the use action state hook, make sure you have an action in place first. Let's use the action from the previous example for this with a bit of a twist. In your component, you need to import the use action state hook and call it at the top level of the component body before the return statement, just like other hooks. You should also import the action. Here's what the full code looks like with a bit of styling. Here is the result in the browser. Remember how we mentioned that you can also use the use action state hook outside of a form? In this example, we'll fetch five users from JSON placeholder with a button click. Here is the styled UI. Here is what it looks like in the browser. If you look closely, you'll see that the button text is never updated to fetching users after it's clicked. This happens because React treats data fetching and rendering as a higher priority than the is pending state, which blocks is pending in the process. Here is the error that is thrown. To fix this issue, you need to wrap the action in start transition. Everything works perfectly now. If you're wondering what start transition is, it's a function that tells React that a state update is of low priority and can be interrupted. This keeps the UI responsive while handling asynchronous updates like server actions. That's how to use the use action state hook inside and outside of a form.